this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks for You and I'm heading into Costco. I'm gonna get some ravioli that I just love here and I'm gonna show you a couple ways you can make it. And also, truth be told, um, I just got done swimming and working out and I'm gonna get a big old fat 600 calorie hot dog in there and enjoy myself. So let's go in. Okay, you can find these ravioli in the back of the store near your dairy and they are a delicious cheese and spinach ravioli, just over $10 and you get a two pack. Each pack serves four. So we'll get back to the kitchen and I'm going to show you the couple things that I have done with the ravioli uh, besides just throwing a jar of red sauce on them and calling it a day. So let's go back and we'll check those out. This is such an easy recipe, guys. You're gonna get water to a boil and you are going to put your noodles in or your ravioli and you're gonna cook these two minutes below what the package direction says because we're gonna bake this also so they'll also cook in the oven. Then you're gonna give them a try and you're gonna see if they're just a little al dente. That's what you want. Once your noodles are drained, then you're gonna add just a little bit of the tomato sauce, and you're gonna stir this up to make sure your ravioli do not stick. You wanna have them, this is kinda like instead of adding oil. I happen to have some frozen ham chunks and I was just wanted to get rid of them, so I threw those in, not necessary. And then I'm gonna add the rest of my tomato sauce. And, um, well, I didn't use the whole jar there. I used probably three quarters of the jar for this one. And this is the Rouse tomato sauce that you get at Costco. Notice my cheese is a gelatinous mess. It was like frozen. And I, I just made a mess out of it in the microwave, but I'm still gonna use it. I just break it up into some chunks and put it over my ravioli. And no one is gonna know the difference because I add a little Parmesan cheese on top and that Parmesan cheese just kind of saved the day and made it look nice still. I baked this deliciousness in a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes and look at how great it turned out. Absolutely spectacular, super easy. Uh, you know, I mean, it doesn't get much easier and for that for weeknight meals, serve it with a salad, put spinach in with it. That would have been amazing to have some spinach in there and then you don't even need to make a salad. On to our next dish. We are going to take thawed ravioli that has not been cooked and we are gonna dip in egg and then we're gonna dip it in a breadcrumb mixture that's um, Italian breadcrumbs. I am using the panko style. You can use regular as well. The panko tends to have a, a bigger crumb to it. We are gonna bake these at 350 degrees until they're golden brown. That's gonna be about 30 minutes. They're gonna be so tasty. Use the rest of that Rouse spaghetti sauce and put it into a dipping tray like I have. And look at how beautiful these toasted ravioli look. They have such a great chew to them. Absolutely spectacular. So easy, what a great way to use some ravioli up in the freezer, something different, a nice appetizer. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks For You. I hope you give this recipe a try. It was a real thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe below and give me a comment. I would love to hear from you.